Welcome back to our live show. It's three men in the kitchen today. Lord help us. Thanksgiving, at least with us two. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, of course. And boy, do we have a great holiday-inspired street treat with this guy. Cake creator Michael Hall is back with his signature eggnog cake. You know, Michael, um, you know, when you walk into Grandma's house, you expect to see a plain old pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. And then I walked in here today and see these, and I go, oh, Grandma's in trouble. Yeah. This ain't uh, Nana's kitchen. <laughs> yes, this sir. looks good. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Where do you even get started on all of this? It's just innovative ideas. Um, mm -hmm. I like going in the kitchen, just figuring out different things. Um, Cakes have like always been my passion, hobby. Just, just being creative. Um, is it trial and error, Michael? For you, I mean, you want to try something new, and it's kind yeah, of like it's almost yeah, like a it really is laboratory. When, yeah, it is. Is um, the the kitchen is my laboratory. Uh, is where I go in, I play in, I, I figure out what what works and what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's been a long, drawn out process, but. You gotta start. Yeah, be patient. That's well, when it. you when you go in there and you've got all these different ingredients, and uh, like Greg was saying, it is trial and error. You try a little bit of this, and the next mm -hmm. time a little bit more, a little less, or whatever. Yes, sir. And then you come out with this perfection, <laughs> yeah. just like anything else. I mean, you know, a, a guy who hits a home run every time didn't start out that way. You right. gotta gotta go to batting practice. Yes, sir. And so you you've done put a lot of practice in. Oh, he's yes, been sir. in the batting cage yes, a long while. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, we practice a, a long time trying to make sure everything comes out perfect. I mean, at first. It didn't. Mm -hmm. It didn't. It was a, the days where it, I was like, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> but you know, the dog would yeah. need it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. over time and preparation and just uh, praying to God and just finding the best recipes. Voila. Well, this there hobby is really working out for you. Let's get started. What are we going to make in here today? The eggnog right. cake? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get the blender running. We're going to get the butter in there. Just one stick? Just one stick. Just one, one stick. <laughs> that's a half a cup of butter. <laughs> per piece. That's a, Just one stick. That's a, that's a half a cup for... This is an industrial one. This is... No, I was, before you came over, Greg, I was asking Michael if, you know, he had a, it says the Kingdom Bakery, and I asked him, do you actually have a location? And he says he's still working out of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And he says he's still using the kitchen oven at this point to make all this magic. So when you get when you get the big industrial kitchen, we'll have you back, mm -hmm. and, and we'll have like 30 cakes out here. Right? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly, it's exactly, a challenge. <laughs> exactly, exactly. What else did we just put in there? We put a, a little about a tablespoon, no, th a third of shortening, vegetable shortening, and right here is two thirds cups of vegetable oil. Third cup vegetable oil. Yes, and sir. of course, we're going to put this on our website, this recipe, yes, sir. a little bit later yes, sir. on today, yes, so sir. you can follow along. Yes. So we get that all blended together. Mm -hmm. uh, don't have all the time to get it all blended like normal, but I'll just show you as we go. Yeah. So the next thing I'll do is put in the sugar. This is about a cup and a half of sugar. Mm -hmm. You just put that in there. Stick of butter, yeah. cup and a half of sugar. I mean, it is the holidays, Bill. Oh, there's there's no uh, no calories or anything in it. Mm -mm. <laughs> you were saying this was your hobby growing up. What did your friends think? You said, you know, they're all playing basketball or baseball, and I'm going to bake a cake. What did they say to that? They cake. said, bring no. the cake out yeah, after exactly. we exactly. practice. <laughs> they they, they want to make sure I bring some to them. Like, if yeah. you're going to bake a cake, you might as well bring it some to them. Right, right, yeah. right. So, yeah. So next nobody, one, nobody said a thing after that. No, no, no they didn't. Gotta go they just knew going to the house and bring, uh, bring a cake out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, yeah, where's my cat? Oh, yeah, he's in the house cooking a cake for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll be out a little while and we'll all be happy. All right, so what do we have here? What's this one? This is um, butter vanilla emulsion. It's like butter van vanilla emulsion? Yes, sir. So it's like um, extract, but it's a little stronger. This a nice one? Yes, sir. Whew. That is. Smell that. That's good. So, uh, that's two teaspoons great. of that. Just two teaspoons? Yes. That's all you really need with strong. that. Yes, that's, like, it's, that's concentrate. Yes, it's strong. It's stronger. It's definitely stronger than extract. I noticed, Michael, this mixer right here has been going on now for about three minutes. Mm -hmm. Is this, you, you want this to happen? Is this where the magic happens when it's in here? Yes, sir. Because what yes, sir. happens if it's not blended evenly? If it's not blended evenly, the cakes will come out wrong. Um, and it'll be clumpy, and you want that. You really want it to go a long time, but not too long because over mixing causes um, dryness in the cake. Over mixing causes dryness. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So just so long enough so it can get all mixed and blended up together um, to make sure it 
things that more. Can you tell by looking at that? Yeah. When you look in there, is, or is it just, you know, that it takes a certain amount of time? It's just a certain amount of time. Okay. Um, it's, 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 it's like, it's like, any, it's, like um, it's not like rocket science, but it is a science. Sure. You got to make sure good. that everything is completed, completely mixed up together so that it can gel together. I haven't seen any eggnog involved in this yet. Oh, eggnog is, the eggnog comes eggnog a little bit later. No, okay. Eggnog <laughs> comes a little bit later. Get to the eggnog. Well, so, we have some eggs. Oh, okay. We got three eggs right <laughs> here. And now we're just looking for the nog. The nog will come later. <laughs> you put the three eggs in there and let that mix all up together and make sure everything is straight. Okay. So far, butter, shortening, sugar. Butter, vanilla, emulsion, yeah, right? And flour is in there, I guess, at some point. So, uh oh, uh -oh. picked it up again. Going gear. into high gear. <laughs> now we don't want to dry this out, but obviously with the three eggs, you've added a lot of liquid. Right. So now we add the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. So, right now, let me do this real quick. Mm -hmm. Take it some off the side there. Make sure it all is in now, there. These cakes, this finished product over here is absolutely beautiful. Do you have a vision? When you are starting out with all of the basic ingredients, do you have a vision of what it's going to look like at the end? Sort of like an artist starting with an empty canvas. I do, I do. Um, normally, um, I vision with the decorating part. The decorating part is the most, to me, I'm an artist. I've always liked to draw and as a kid growing up, and I never knew that cakes would be the, my platform. Sure. But it came about uh, some years back and I said, okay, this is what I was uh, created for. Uh, to be a cake designer, to a custom cake artist. Well, anybody can draw something beautiful, but you make something beautiful and it tastes great. Right. Indeed. <laughs> right. That's the trifecta. Yeah. <laughs> You've got everything going on there. All right, so this is looking uh, pretty good here. So we've got some flour. We got some flour. Okay. And we're going to throw that in there. Just throw it in. A little uh, bit. Um, you do it in, in intervals dry, wet, dry. Dry, wet, dry. Wet. Dry, now, is, wet, this, uh, dry. is this any kind of special flour or anything? What it is in there is um, you have flour, you have baking soda, baking powder, salt. So and, yes, is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and um, That's a lot cinnamon and nutmeg in this mixture. Cinnamon and nutmeg. Yes. Wow. That's like a secret mixture right now, there. Man. That's yeah, not that's just right out of the is. Oh yeah. Oh, here comes the Here's dog. This the eggnog. Okay. So this is what gives the cake the more of the eggnog taste. A little kick. Now does this eggnog have any alcohol in it, or is this now just plain eggnog? This, this is just the uh, kitty eggnog. The okay. kitty eggnog. Now, but, but you, could, could you use the uh, alcohol eggnog? And would could. that change the cake? It, it would. It would change it a little bit. But people have cooked uh, cakes with eggnog or with mm -hmm. um, alcohol. Before. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, warm cakes. Those type of cakes. Sure. So you can That's do that. That's when the friends ask for two two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> You're limited, depending on, on the situation. All right, we have one minute left here, okay. Michael. So we so have. So let me do this. We did. Uh, just throw it right there. Here it goes. Throw it all in there. Magic of television. Yep. Throw it all in there. Uh, did we? How much was this? That was two and a half cups. Of, two and a half yep. cups of that magic mix. Okay. Yes. We throw some more eggnog in there. Our, uh, and then get it all mm -hmm. it up together. That's not going to get dry anytime soon, no. there, buddy. No. No. So, and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's that my basic recipe. And you from put scratch it in from my head. How, how long do you cook this this cake? This cake um, will cook anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And oh, that's set at what? Three... 350 degrees. 350? Yes. Preset the oven. Yep. 45 minutes to an hour. Yes, Boom. Sir. And it just takes a little bit of practice that's and it. some patience that's here it. as well. That's it. Patience is the biggest thing with cake baking. Mm -hmm. If you don't have patience, you can't cook. I don't well, have he's, patience. He's lost patience right now because he's going for it. <laughs> my, oh, my. That looks like three pieces there, Bill. Well, uh, yeah, but there's one for me. and <laughs> <laughs> One cake for you. <laughs> Why don't we try this that right is, over there? Uh, I, I, you really want me to dig yeah, into go this? go for it, yes. Oh, man. And this is the eggnog one? No, that's the red velvet. Red velvet. I'm going to go down to the eggnog one. You go down to the eggnog. Yeah. Let's do I mean, this. you know, I don't want the red velvet to feel bad. <laughs> Is this the, uh, as Bill says, the alcohol one or no? No, the that's, that's the uh, non-alcohol one. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see I you think red I, I, cake I, and I, raise you. I, I think I should try right, this, just out of just, fairness, you know, you know back and forth. Right. Don't want to discriminate. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh -uh. We got to be fair. What's your favorite, buddy? Uh, Do you like the red velvet or the eggnog? I like them both. Mm. 
as you see my stomach. You know, I like my you know, <laughs> Let me see. I thought it was another cake in there. All right. Thank this you so much, Michael Hall. Extended studying. We're going to get him back in. Uh, we're awesome going to have segment. to study this for a while. <laughs> we'll get back to y'all later.